Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name's Ellie and today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. I say that every time but I genuinely feel like it's exciting. I'm excited. I'm actually more excited than usual because it's a food video. <laughs> I feel like maybe food content videos were my calling. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. We're not going wrong. You know, we've not been going wrong. I love fashion. You know I love fashion. But food and fashion. Oh my god, food and fashion. Is that my new channel? <laughs> anyway, I've been testing out some Christmas menus this year. I have been doing Domino's, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, and now sandwiches. <laughs> and a few of you actually suggested this on my Instagram for me to do. Rosie, Caitlin, thank you so much. Anybody else who suggested this? I'm excited, but bit actually scared to be honest okay so as you can see my eye is going wonky already i'm super tired i've only had four hours sleep so please give me a break it's not my fault it doesn't work okay it just doesn't stand still and i can't help it i might put my glasses on in a minute but you know it is what it is oh actually i'm just going to tell you a little bit of a fact here now this may come to a shock to some of you i've never eaten a christmas sandwich <laughs> Right, I've never eaten a Christmas sandwiches from the shops. I mean, I've obviously made one at home sort of thing, like, you know, on Boxing Day when you just, like, make things. Um, well, I've never actually eaten a, a Christmas sandwich from the shop, so I don't really know what to expect. But all I know is I like a sandwich. I'm British. We love a sandwich. Put anything between bread and it's ours. I went to so many shops, like, you wouldn't believe, but they were, like, selling, like, hotcakes. There were not many sandwiches on the shelves. So I ended up with two from Sainsbury's, two from Tesco, and two from M&S. Now, in my actual opinion, I feel like Tesco's gonna be the least favourite. My eyes, I'm gonna, right, let's do my head. Bring me a hat. Oh, no, I don't like them. Do you know what? I'm gonna embrace their lazy eye, and... That's, that's all I can do, really. <laughs> so I've rearranged these in order of what I think they will be best in, of what I'm going to try them in. So we've got Tesco, Sainsbury's, M&S. That's just like the standard, like, of, I don't know, least posh to posh shops, right? I think. I don't know. We've got a selection. Like I said, I, I could only get what was on the shelf, so I literally just had to get what was on the shelves. I would like to have done, like, the same sandwich from different shops, but that wasn't an option. So we're just going to taste them and see what we think. The battle of the supermarket Christmas sandwiches begins. So we're going to start with Tesco. This is a smoked ham and Wensleydale sandwich. It is with a pear and fig chutney. So I, right, if I was going to eat a sandwich, I would go for a ham and cheese. I would go for a ham and cheese. That is what I would order. Um, order. That is what I would go for. So it's a smoked reformed ham with added water. Ooh. Wensleydale cheese, pear and fig chutney, mayo, lettuce, and full fat soft cheese on a malted bread. I'm excited. I actually nearly got this the other day when I was in London, but I went with a different one in case they didn't like the pear and fig chutney. And I'm actually glad. I'm glad so that I can have a real test of this sandwich okay so this is what the sandwich looks like it looks really good to be fair um i mean it doesn't look great inside to be honest you can see the pear um chutney the ham the full fat cheese anyway i'm gonna give it a go here we go that was a lot of lettuce but it was good though. I could taste the full fat cheese and the ham a lot. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. You can taste the pear and fig chutney. It makes it a little bit sweeter, but it's not too much. It's not overpowering. The cheese is really good. The ham's really good. I'm a fan. Mmm. I think I've started with a good one. I don't want to get too far, so I'm going to put this down a minute. We're going to go on to the next sandwich from um, Tesco. So this is a brie and cranberry one. Creamy brie. Oh, I'm knackered. Brie, full fat soft cheese, cranberry sauce, and spinach in malted bread. So, okay, there's not a lot going on in this sandwich. It looks like it's going to be a lot of cranberry, which I think is quite an overpowering flavour, but obviously I know brie and cranberry go together, like peanut butter and jelly. This is what it looks like. It looks like a lot of spinach going on in one section there. 
They've not made that very well, you know. I feel like I want to spread that out, or do I just eat it as it comes? This is the sandwich. I'm going to move it over a bit. Not very well made sandwich, guys, but I'm going to say that that could have moved in delivery. <laughs> Why do I find that so funny? Bit of a lowdown on Brie. I feel like I've had Brie before. I'm not sure if I have. I don't know. I'm going to eat it anyway. Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about Brie. I'm really sorry if it's triggering anyone that I'm eating um, like this. I just don't want to eat loads of bread. Maybe I should like rip the sandwich and eat it that way. Is that going to be better for you? Um, I hate it when people do that. When they eat like right from the middle, it's really annoying. But obviously I'm doing that so I can get the flavour of the food. Um, that's all I can say about that. I'm sorry if it's triggering you. It's quite a strong cheese, isn't it? Is brie supposed to be cold or do you typically have it hot? I'm not actually sure. But, do you know what I feel this would be really nice? Like hot? Like toasted in a, in like a toasty machine. The cranberry isn't overpowering, it's actually really nice. I don't really think I like it. Why did you wear red lipstick? I knew that this was going to be a silly idea but... I still couldn't help myself because it's it's Christmas. Yeah, I weren't really a big fan of that. I'm not going to lie, but that could just be my personal taste buds because I'm not sure if I like brie or not. I'm not sure if I've had it. It's like creamy. It is creamy, but I don't know how to explain it. And I love cheese. I think it was just a bit underwhelming. After that smoked ham on Wednesday day, it just kind of plummeted. Okay, so we're going to go on to... <gasps> okay, so these... These, these two, these two Tesco ones, they are completely different. The Sainsbury's and M&S, these are the same. So I've got a turkey feast, a turkey feast, and a pig's under blankets, and a pig's in blankets. So, I'm going to do it different this time. I'm going to do pig's under blankets, pig's under blankets, turkey feast, turkey feast, yeah? I think that's a good idea. Let's start with Sainsbury's. Pig's under blankets. Oh, it's under a blanket. What a good little play on words. So we've got smoked Cumberland sausages, maple cured bacon, uh, sorry, ma maple cured smoked bacon. Smoked makes all the difference. Cranberry chutney and mayonnaise on melted bread. Basically, anything Christmassy, chuck some cranberry in there. This makes me feel a bit weird that it's cold. But again, is it, is it weird that it's cold? I do like a cold sausage. <laughs> this is how it looks. Again, this is the Sainsbury's one. Very cute. This is how it looks inside. I don't really like bacon that much. The sausages look nice. They smell nice. Um, I'm not like, I don't dislike bacon. I like it. I just think it's very overrated. Here we go. Mmm. I can taste the herb in the sausage. Mm. It's not dry, but it's a little bit dry. I can very much taste the sausage. I can't taste the bacon at all. That was just a little bit underwhelming. I mean, it's better than the brie. I wasn't sure on the brie. So yeah, it was okay. It wasn't anything special. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, I'm gonna try the M&S one now and compare the two and see what I think. So this is pigs in blankets, so British pork sausage. So the difference is this is a Cumberland sausage and this, oh, British pork sausage, gravy style mayonnaise, red onion and ruby pork chutney, smoked British bacon and caramelised onions on malted brown bread. Right now this sounds like a sandwich. Now, I, did, I didn't want M&S to be the best ones because, I mean, I've not tried it yet, but it does sound like it's going to be better, doesn't it? Wow. That smells good. Right. Oh, fuck, shit. Okay, so this is the sandwich. It looks a bit beige, but... Oh, oh, God. Oh. It's making me feel a bit weird because it's cold. I mean, it smells good. I can smell the gravy. Anyway. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Mm. 
<laughs> it's very good. Wow. I really was starting to get... When I looked at it, I thought, all these cold flavours are making me feel very uncomfortable. But that... It's very good. The sausage isn't too overpowering. I can taste the bacon. I can taste the mayonnaise. I can taste the chutney. Oh my god. I'm going to eat all of this. Oh my god. That is so good. It's like not too dry. That is dry. The, the other one. What is that? Pigs under blankets. Dry. Pigs in blankets. I was going to say moist, but I hate that word. Um. Moist. How do you describe your sandwich, really? Moist. Favourite sandwich so far. I didn't want m to be the winner! Mmm! Go and get yourself one of them from m &S. So we're gonna go on to the final two, which is the turkey feast and the turkey feast. So also we're gonna start at Tesco's because I feel like I'm gonna be underwhelmed. So this is Tesco sorry sainsbury's this is a turkey face with maple cured bacon sage and onion stuffing and cranberry chutney british turkey breast maple cured smoked bacon sage and onion and oat stuffing cranberry chutney and mayonnaise on malted bread so this is what the sandwich looks like inside oh it's not enjoying that there we go so the bread's like sort of sticking to it. Um, this doesn't look that appealing inside, but we'll give it a try. Hmm. Quite nice. I can't really taste the cranberry that much. <sighs> but I don't mind that. Yeah, it's nice. It's not... I think that sandwich blew me away from M&S. But this is quite good. <laughs> but I can taste mayo. Mmm. I can taste the mayo. It's nice that the stuffing doesn't overpower every single flavour. Same as the cranberry. I could taste the... I could taste like the mayo and the turkey more than anything. It was okay. It wasn't anything like wow. But it was good. Would I eat it again? Yeah, I would eat it. Would I buy it again? Oh no. Turkey feast on soft malted bread. Okay, pretty similar. Roast beef turkey, British turkey, beef turkey, roast British turkey with pork, sage and onion stuffing, and onion mayonnaise. I'm getting tired, I'm getting so tired. Wake up. Um, cranberry, <laughs> cranberry chutney and a smoked British bacon on malted brown bread. This looks pretty nice. This is the final sandwich. The turkey one. Um, and this is inside. Oh, this lifts nicer. Oh, wowie. Yes. Now that looks more appealing than the other one, doesn't it? I just hate the look of, like, cold bacon. The turkey's nicer, but there's a lot of cranberry sauce in that. But I can taste the difference in the turkey. Let's go again. It's quite nice. Like I said, the m and sandwiches are just more moist. I don't want to say moist, but they are. They're not dry. I'm not really a huge fan of this. I feel like the stuffing and the bread kind of like... Where they're like the same texture, it's a bit weird. I feel a bit sick of Christmas sandwiches and I've got to eat some of these for lunch tomorrow. Um, but it was nice. I think both the turkey sandwiches were nice. But the M&S one just felt a little bit more moist. The turkey was nicer. But I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the stuffing. I feel like it was maybe blended into the bread a bit too much. I do think... If I had to pick one, I would pick the M&S one over the sausage one just because the turkey was so much nicer, the bread was a little bit nicer. But 
and it, and it was just a little bit more moist but it wasn't like a huge comparison and difference like the the pigs and blanket one like whoa that was like insanely different it was like from a two to a ten so i've currently got a load of a half eaten sandwiches and um six half sandwiches oh. which me and dad are gonna take to work tomorrow so don't you worry they're not gonna go to waste but yeah that bloody i'll tell you what the, the top sandwich top sandwich pigs in blankets it ain't just any sandwich it's an ms sandwich okay i'm sandwiched out i'm done i want to put myself in a sandwich between the quilt but i can't i've got to go edit because i've got a busy day tomorrow and i need this uploaded for sunday it is friday i love my life like this so i want to do more sandwiches i feel like i need to try some more let me know if you did enjoy this video if you did i'll maybe go try some more sandwiches from some different shops they got some at co-op they got some in boots there's, there's loads there's bloody loads everywhere let me know or let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to try i love trying food i love doing challenges i love just making videos so if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more from me click the notification bell you get notified every time i upload a video which is on a sunday Day at 9am and yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye i missed the camera <laughs> bye <laughs>